New warnings have been issued for people travelling to Bali and Thailand, especially schoolies amid fears jihadists could be plotting attacks against the West. So, is it a good idea to send your son or daughter to Bali for their end of year celebrations, which kick off around November 24? Joining us this morning is Perth travel agent George McCauchy. George, good morning to you. Thanks for your time. No worries, Tim. That's, uh, you know, these warnings come and go, and uh, there has been a an upgrading, but uh, do families decide to not let their child go? That's one of those decisions that they have to make, uh, bearing in mind there are massive cancellation penalties that come with that. George, uh, on a personal note, I understand your son is actually going to Bali. He's not a schoolie, but he's a little bit older. Uh, no. He's heading around about the same... Uh, I'm not going to call him a toolie. <laughs> heading there about the same time <laughs> as the schoolies, though. As a, as a dad, are you worried at all? Not at all, Tim. Uh, he's 20. Uh, he's going with some mates, find out that his cousin is going as well. Um, I spoke to him briefly this morning and uh, he's just not conscious of what it all means, basically. He's just going to go up and have a good time with his mates and uh, all I guide him in the right direction, as in look after yourself, uh, avoid the big bars uh, and just, you know, stay uh, clever in terms of looking out who you hang out with and where you hang out. As a travel agent, George, do you get parents come in with their kids to, to book these holidays? And, and if so, what do you tell them when they ask you about the risks over there? Oh, we'll just avoid those areas that has been harmed before, Tim. You know, it's uh, not rocket science. You know, there's a lot of people that get harmed in other parts of the world as well. Just because of these warnings are, are now on us again, um, it's sort of a, a family decision whether they'll allow their kids to go or not given, as I said earlier, the cancellation penalties. But, you know, I, I wouldn't be thinking there'd be massive cancellations as a result of this. George, uh, recent years we've seen Bali become a major destination for WA school leavers. Is this still the case? Are bookings up, down? Have they sort of plateaued over the last couple of years? Oh, no. <laughs> With the exchange rate up there now, no. Uh, Bali for many years now just gone nuts. So whether it's schoolies or the general public, it's a very, very strong destination. It will continue to be so. Um, now, will this new warning you know, deter some people uh, long term? Maybe. But short term, uh, I don't think there'll be any impact uh, whatsoever. All right. Well, let's hope it is an incident-free schoolies this year. George, appreciate your time this morning and I hope your son comes back safe and well too. <laughs> Safely. <laughs> Thanks, Tim.